See, we have Thanksgiving right around the corner. You have a lot to be grateful for this year, Mrs. Shelton. That is very true. That is very true. We leave next week to go um, to Oklahoma. We It's a tradition. My whole family flies out, and um, we have not been back there since the wedding, so I'm really looking forward to it. And we have a, a new house there. We have like a new life there. So it's gonna be it's gonna be our first married Thanksgiving. Very grateful. Very excited. What will it look like in the kitchen at the Shelton household on Thanksgiving? Who's doing the cooking? We all we all cook. Um, my mom definitely likes to do her turkey her way. Blake likes to experiment with multiple smaller turkeys. <laughs> I think this year they did like the ch hot Cheetos turkey one year and then this year I think they're doing bacon wrapped I, I don't know it's all the boys are talking about the different things they're gonna do but every I know one thing is we never did mac and cheese but we're doing mac and cheese yeah that's like the new added every year I feel like we add something new in so well, that's also the beauty of newlywed life too you get to create your own traditions as you go what will that look like for Christmas Wow Christmas um I we were just talking Thanksgiving I'm like my head um <laughs> Honestly, we do have a tradition that we do. We do um, the timpano dome. I don't know if you heard of it. It's this like layered pasta Italian dish. And um, last year we screwed up, guys. I'm sorry. It was a mess. So I'm hoping to, you know, make something that to make up for last year. And um, we were going to make sure that we did everything from scratch. And it's just, we love doing it. We love making the memories. Christmas is all about making the memories. And so um, it's it's really fun and we're really looking forward to it. We go big. We're we going to go big. big. We're going to go big. Speaking of going big, notes for Blake Shelton. What does Gwen Stefani want for Christmas? Ooh, you know what? Um, I thought about this a lot, Blake. Um, <laughs> you did great. You did great. No, I just honestly, I just want everyone to be happy and have that moment. You know what I'm saying? It feels like there's a lot of stress in the air and I just want my kids to have just the most great memories that we could ever make together this Christmas. And I, I know that we'll be able to do that. I love seeing like the smile on your face. You just seem like you're in the best phase of your life. Would you say that's true? I'm in the best phase of my life and I'm at Disneyland right now, okay? <laughs> having us here in your holiday celebration. Yes, welcome to my backyard, Disneyland. Anaheim Girl here. It's really amazing to be here right here. I mean, guys, you hear the train right in the background. That's happening. This is real. That's the small world right there. So we're pretty excited. You mentioned, obviously, it is your back, your backyard, basically. You grew up in Anaheim. How good does it feel? Do you still geek out when you come here? I still geek out. Um, I got to go backstage, guys, over there. It's really exciting, even back there. Um, it's just one of those things that for me, like my parents used to like pick us up from school and be like driving down Harbor Boulevard going, oops, we made the wrong turn. We, I guess we have to go to Disneyland today and not go to school. So it's just one of those things that we do every year. We didn't get to go last year. I bring the kids every single year at Christmas time. So um, I, I know that they would be like freaked out to know I'm actually here right now. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why didn't you bring us? So as teenage boys, they still feel that magic? I think it's hard. I don't think at any age you get over coming to Disneyland. You know what I mean? It's just you grow up, especially someone that grew up in Anaheim, you know, it's just a big deal. There's a reason why they call it the happiest place on earth. <laughs> it, it really is. There is. It's true. And in fact, I'm going to go find a churro as soon as we're done. Wait, you know? That's exactly <laughs> what I, I told our producers. I'm going to get a churro after this. So we'll, we'll go find our churro. <laughs> yeah. And I was thinking about it too, because I got to get all dolled up to do the performance and it's like an afterthought, but I feel like my outfit was very inspired by all those dolls in the small world. Like I used to go through that ride and be like, it's right behind us guys, that's the small world. And just be like, wow, these dolls, like I want to be one of those little dolls. <laughs> and I get to be one here at Disneyland today. Well, you also are giving me holiday bride vibes. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing. I did not choose this. Somebody said, hey, what about this? And I was like, okay, that looks like almost like a holiday bride vibe, like what you're saying. So in an 80s kind of way, right? <laughs> shoulder pads, yeah. bring it back to shoulder What's pads. What's happening? <laughs> With the performances, what can we expect? You know, I think for me, having a holiday album is, is it's surreal because just when you kind of forget the songs and you sort of like aren't thinking about it, you get to perform again and it's like, wow, this record is just so great. And it's the kind of thing where you add to it every year, you get to bring new songs into it. And so to be able to revisit it again and do it live, it's just been, Super fun. I want to thank you, baby. You make it feel like Christmas. Is it 
it getting you even more into the holiday spirit? It definitely is. I think just even driving down here last night, going on the five freeway and seeing all the lights going up and we put our lights up yesterday and you know, it's almost, I said, I said to my friend, I was like, I feel like because this year has been so crazy, everything feels more intense and every, you feel more grateful than ever. I mean, truly we do. I just, it's part of the silver lining, I guess, if there is one. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Feel like this magic in the air seeing everything I do and I it I what's freaking me out the most is um, that, that that noise like that is haunting me I'm like I know that noise it's it's crazy it's just everything everything is the same that it's always been but yet Christmas time I feel like is the best time to come here because they just make it so beautiful I mean the decorations are like flawless and I'm super inspired we just need some snow yeah, that would be that would be cool. That would be really cool. Now, obviously, after the holidays are over in 2022, you are going to be performing at the Super Bowl Fest with your husband. What is the best part about being able to perform together? Um, honestly, I want to do everything with him every day. So anytime we can be together, perform, write songs, hang out, watch TV, whatever it is, I, I'm all about Blake. So, um, but to be able to be part of the Super Bowl thing is huge because he is a major football freak. I mean, we were talking earlier, it's like he watches every single game. He has his fantasy football thing. And then he like watches everyone talk about what they watched on the game, like all day. And I'm like, okay, you're insane. But um, so I think it's gonna be fun to be part of that because he's such a fan and like, I have my three boys, they love football. It's say, do they it's, bond it's, with him over yeah. football? I mean, I did the Super Bowl back in the day with no doubt. And I think that at the time, I just was not connected at all to the sport. So I didn't even realize what a big deal it was. But then later when I had my kids, I was like, hey, did you know mommy played the Super Bowl? Like, I was like <laughs> trying to use it as like cards to be cool. And so now the more that life goes by, I'm really getting more into football. And so to be part of this, it will be, it'll be fun. People are really fired up. Heading into the new year, what message do you have for fans? Fans just for a new chapter 2022 okay well you guys as you say um, I just want to say you know what thank you for the Vegas residency you guys came out that was incredible thank you for listening to my music all these years and I think that next year we got some promise guys it's gonna be good I got some stuff up my sleeve it's gonna those be those bedazzled yes, sleeves it's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs>